Hello again, my name is Paul Leary. We're back at Mark's Electrical cooking on the Miele Centre and today I'll be cooking twice baked cheese souffle with salt baked beetroot and some garden vegetables. Okay, first thing we need to do is get the beetroot in the oven. So I've got two raw beetroot here, um, just soaking in water and then we need some salt and all we're going to do is roll the beetroot in the salt all over so it creates a kind of snowball. And this will impermeate the beetroot and season it while it's roasting. So we get a baking tray and there we go, we've got two salt baked beetroots on a baking tray and we stick that in the oven for about 30 minutes uh, just until soft depending on the size of your uh, beetroots but 30 minutes should be sufficient. Okay next the souffle we need to first thing we need to do is chill our ramekins down you can use dariol moulds like I've got here or you can use ramekins the white uh, ramekins you use for creme brulees etc. Um, we need to butter the ramekin so, a bit of melted butter, go all the way round the ramekin and with your next line of butter, just do upward strokes. Now you would do this for sweet and savoury souffles, so you go upwards and the idea is once the butter's chilled and it hits a hot, hot oven, the souffle rises upwards, goes upwards, rather than sort of around then up. So we make sure all the butter is brushed upwards. Okay, then we get some parmesan just to line the ramekin mould. Put some par parmesan in the ramekin and then just go round so all the grated parmesan sticks to the sides and produces a nice cover for the souffle, okay? Uh, we'll stick this in the fridge just to chill for 20 minutes. Okay, now, now the souffle. Uh, we've got equal parts of butter and flour, so we've got 40 grams of butter. This will make about four to five souffles. We melt the butter and then we add plain flour, 40 grams of plain flour. And this will, this will make a roux. Uh, this is the base for all sort of sauces, uh, chef sauces, white sauces, like a cheese sauce, a mushroom sauce, a sort of a nice little thickener um, for any, any sort of sauces. It's a white sauce we're making. Okay, so we put that on a gentle heat until all the butter and the flour is incorporated and makes like a, a so soft dough and we cook that for one minute just to cook out, make sure all the oils in the butter have soaked into the flour. Okay, so very gently. We don't want to burn this because we want a nice sort of whitey blonde colour. If you want a darker souffle or a darker sauce, you would take this a lot further. You would, you would cook it for two or three minutes, uh, make the roux a lot darker and then build your sauce around the dark roux, but we want a blonde roux, it's called in the trade. So there we go, all the butter is incorporated with the flour um, and that, that's what we class as a blonde roux. So now we're going to add the milk. And cook that out for about four minutes. What we're after is a nice glossy texture, no lumps, um, just a smooth white sauce. Okay, so now as you can see the milk is incorporated with the flour and the butter and made a nice smooth white sauce or blonde sauce as we were saying. Okay, now we take that off the heat because we don't want it extremely hot because we're going to add some egg yolks to this. Uh, to enrich it. So we're, what we're doing is making a souffle base. Um, we don't want the egg yolks to cook into the mixture. So we take the roux, 
is what we chefs call it, um, off, off the heat. Now I've separated four eggs. So with the whites, I've whisked up to a stiff peak. And the yolks, the four yolks, can go into the mix, which will enrich our base, our souffle base. So we mix those in. You can see it's turned a nice colour. And then we start adding our flavouring. So what we're going to do is add some grated cheddar. I've done 140 grams. I'm going to add three-thirds of grated cheddar to the mix. Two-thirds, sorry. I'm going to add some seasoning, so a bit of salt and pepper. And a few chives just to lift lift the dish up and give it a bit of a zing. So we mix that up until the cheese is melted. But don't worry about it being slightly lumpy and the cheese not fully melting. That's perfectly all right. OK, so basically now we've got our souffle base. And now we, add to, we have to add the raising agent, which is the egg whites. So we get a bowl, put a souffle base into a mixing bowl. Like so. And a third of the egg whites we're going to whisk in. So take a third of the mix and just whisk in till it's all incorporated. Right, so, okay. So that's the final part of the whisking. Now with the rest of the egg whites, we're going to add, we need to fold this in because we don't want the the whites to break down. So we want to incorporate air into the souffle. So very gently, just fold the mixture over the egg whites until it's all incorporated. This will help with the souffle to rise. Okay, once incorporated, we get our ramekins out of the fridge that are chilling nicely. And then what we do is spoon the mixture in, going just under the rim. So this will make four, four cheese souffles. A little tip, as the souffle rises, um, just rub your finger around the edge because you don't want the souffle to stick on the edge. So with each one, just get your finger, rub all the butter and the parmesan cheese off the edge so the souffle's got nowhere to catch and um, nowhere to stick. Because if you, if you didn't do this, it may burn on one side and then you end up with a very uneven souffle. Okay, once you've got your ramekins filled up and you've wiped your edges, place on a baking tray with a parchment sheet on the bottom and just fill the baking tray up, a third up, with boiling water. And this will help the souffle not to burn on the bottom and not to stick on the bottom. So boiling water about third way up the tin and then put it in the oven for about 15 to 20 minutes um, depending on uh, the colour. Okay, the souffles have been in 15 minutes and what we're after is a nice colour on the top, um, so sort of just slightly brown and a nice wobble. Um, you want it set because you, you're twice baking it, so it, it's got to be set, um, which these are. They've got a little wobble when you shake them and they're a nice colour. So 
the next thing to do is take them off the tray and then leave them to chill for about 10 minutes um, just so the cheese around the outside, the parmesan that we put around the outside will set. I've got one here that's been 10 minutes and what we do is get a knife, cut around the outside just to release the souffle from the Dariol mould or the ramekins, whatever you're using. Go round and then literally tip it upside down and turn it out on your hand like so. And then this can now go into the fridge uh, overnight or for an hour or for whenever your dinner party is. Uh, it can stay in the fridge because all we're going to do now is reheat that for about seven minutes and it's ready. I've got some that we did earlier this morning. So I'll add this one and we're going to reheat these for literally about seven minutes just to warm back up through. Same temperature as the oven, 160 for about seven minutes. Okay, I've got some cream here, 225 mils, just to bring to the boil. And once it's boiled, I'm gonna take it off, add the remainder of our grated cheese, and maybe a bit of Parmesan if you've got that left as well, and mix it in. So take, take it off the heat, because you don't want it to boil anymore, you don't want the sauce to split. Add your cheese and mix it in. So I've got that coming up to the boil. And in this pan, I've got a tiny bit of water and some butter, and that's called an emulsion. So you bring the, the butter and the water to boil uh, to make a butter emulsion. Um, the reason is I've got some vegetables here, some spring vegetables that I blanched this morning. Um, and all I'm going to do is reheat them in the butter emulsion. So once this is boiled, I'm going to throw the vegetables in. So again, if you're doing a dinner party, this can be done a day in advance. So once that's to the boil, I'm going to throw the vegetables in, give it 30 seconds, that's all you need, 30 seconds, and the vegetables will be nice and piping hot and should retain their colour as well. Okay, so the cream's up to the boil. So I'm going to take it off, add the remainder of our cheese, Add a little bit of Parmesan and just mix the cheese in until it's melted. And this will give you a nice cheese sauce to go over the souffles when they're cooked. Okay. So our butter and water, it's only very shallow, has come to the boil. So I'm going to throw my vegetables in. And just warm that through. Now here I've got uh, a carrot puree. Uh, the re I've done this, I've got one carrot, covered it with a little bit of vegetable stock boiled it until the carrot is nice and soft and then put both of the, the, the vegetable stock and the carrot into a blender and just blended it and what you get is a sort of a natural carrot juice which is will be a base for a puree and purely for sort of color really so if you get a plate you can put your carrot juice on the plate on one side and then a little palette knife just run it across and that acts as a base for your vegetables. Our beetroot should be ready now. They've had half an hour in the oven. And as, as you can see, they've created a nice crust. All right, you've got a choice now to wash these beetroot under a tap, um, which I'm going to do here, just to basically get all the salt off the beetroot. There we go. I'll do one more. Now your choice now is to either leave it with the skin on. The skin you can, is perfectly edible and it's got a nice salty flavour. Or you can peel it. If you're going to peel it, just peel it with your fingers. Just run your fingers round 
and just the skin will just literally peel off quite easily. Personally, I quite like the skin on um, because it adds another texture uh, because it's slightly crispy and another flavour to the dish. So I'll leave that one on. Okay, so we've got our roasted salt baked beetroot. I'm just to arrange them any way you want. We've got our spring vegetables that again have just gone into the butter emulsion for about 30 seconds. We've got some radish, we've got some baby courgettes, we've got some purple sprouting broccoli and some asparagus, but whatever you can get at the supermarket. We've got our twice beat baked souffle, which has been in the oven about seven minutes. And then we've got our cheese sauce that we've made just to enhance the souffle. And I've got a few mixed herbs that I got this morning from a supermarket just to bring the dish alive. There we go. So we've got our twice baked goat's cheese souffle with roasted salt baked beetroot and spring vegetables. Thank you.